Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another polish pickup wish list with me. This is the final polish pickup of the year, and I believe the theme is Maker's Choice. So there's not like a universal theme this month. Everybody just kind of got to choose what they were going to make. So uh, I'm not really sure what to expect here because I don't remember last year's. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's hop right into it. And also, I guess before we hop right into it, Hillary, um, I did release a video uh, this past Saturday talking about just my tips and tricks and things I've learned from shopping from Polish Pickup. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that video out as well. So let's go. You can see I have everything open up here. So we're going alphabetical this time. And the first one is 1422 Designs Jack Frost Cocktail inspired by the alcoholic beverage with the same name i did not know that was a thing it is a bright blue polish packed with platinum flakes and blue metallic flakies a companion to their winter drinks collection which released on black friday so i guess this is like a companion piece to something they already did there's a cap of 100 i am trying to not buy so many blues trying to introduce other colors to my collection so i am gonna skip this one i also am just not big on the metallic foil look so much i have some that i like but just i'm not super enthralled by it adored colors two and counting uh, Adored Colors is turning two in December. Their inspiration is to celebrate this milestone. It is a dark sky blue base with multi-chrome shimmer and scattered hollow micro glitter. It also has a silver magnetic running through it. You guys can see it in, I think, this picture here. And it shows up maybe a little bit here. Uh, best on two to three coats. There is a cap of 100. And it says there's a polish on their site that's going to accompany the polish, which will be available basically through the entirety of December. So if you're interested in this, definitely check out Adored Colors website to see what the other one looks like as well. All mixed up lacquers, life got me looking like Cynthia, inspired by Cynthia Pickles from the Rugrats. Oh my God, that's funny. Uh, pink berry base with green, pink, purple shifting shimmer, three different intense color shifting flakes and reflective glitters. 150 are available. I like the inspiration and the name. But this has got a lot going on. And I don't know, I'm feeling, I don't want to say I'm feeling kind of simple lately, but it just seems like this has like hollow and shimmer and flakies and it's kind of jellyish and I'm just like a little bit overwhelmed by it. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, this one is very pretty. Anchor and Heart Lacquer. It's football, not soccer. Uh, we call it a soccer team here in the States. But if you ask my husband and millions of fans around the world, it's called football and it is more than a sport or a team. Guys, listen, my boyfriend's parents came over the day after Thanksgiving and they forced me to watch so much soccer and I hate watching sports. I like watching, like I like going to the stand, the stadium or whatever, watching the sport. I go to a baseball game every year with my dad, but I don't want to watch it on TV. Um, so yeah, this is a deep turquoise teal jelly base with pink and orange large particle shimmer and turquoise aqua and coral pink glitter in mostly small sizes with a sprinkling of medium sizes. Doesn't look like there's a cap. This is quite pretty. I'm going to throw it on the wish list, even though I hate soccer. Hard as nails, winter wonder. You guys know, uh, this is a no from me because it is quite white. It is inspired by winter with snow with snow in hyde park our white jelly base is packed with chameleon flakes there are 150 available it's it definitely does look you know very much like the inspiration picture thank you by the way for including the inspiration picture love that um but i don't wear white polish this looks like something nick's polish might like i'll send it to him atomic polish hyaline or hyaline quartz inspired by uh oh i guess it's just rose quartz their maker's choice theme was gemstones that's quite pretty it is a pink based shimmer polish it is a aurora pigment that shifts green to gold to pink which you can kind of see in these pictures here kind of it gives me like sunset vibes you know and it is opaque in two to three coats oh it has holographic pigment in there as well um no cap it's it seems like a lot of people are doing this already i can see but it says that this is part of like a like it's related to something that they're already offering on their website so they have a gemstone sister trio on their website and this one is kind of like a 
like uh, affiliated with it, if you will. So that's kind of cool. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. I like this like more Barbie pinkish kind of tone, but I have a lot of these like sunset shifty type polishes, so I'll pass. Baroness X Cosmosoma, inspired by a beautiful type of moth from Costa Rica. Okay. Um, sorry, I had to look up the moth and I feel like people don't like to look at bugs, so I'm just going to cut that part out. Bugs freak some people out. I love bugs. They're my best friends and they live in my home rent free and I don't care. Um, I like the, pole, the pill bugs the most. It is a mix of black flakies, shifty pink and orange and blue purple iridescent shimmers, black and blue reflective glitters, uh, sprinkle of black hollow galaxy glitter. What is galaxy glitter? That sounds fun. Uh, 85 is the cap. So if you want this one, I would say hop on it. I have a lot of stuff with these black flakes running through it. So I don't need this because not only blue, but also purple is a color that I have a ton of. I'm looking to get more colors that aren't those, <laughs> but this is quite pretty. BCB Lacquers Crystal Moon. This one looks very shifty. Inspired by the pink moon crystal from Sailor Moon. A light blue linear hollow with a strong pink orange shift. Cap of 300. Is that blue? Really? That is really light. You know what? This reminds me of one that I got from Bluebird. But the Bluebird has like flakies running through it. So I have something similar. And I don't even wear that one much yet. So I will have to pass. BKL, the Earl King. It's taking inspiration from Gilded by Marissa Mayer with the Erkling. Earl King. Oh, Earl King. Buh, buh, buh. How, how do you say that? Earl King? A companion polish to November's Perchta. Okay, I just looked up what this is. It says it's a sinister elf, and I'm obsessed with that description. Um, uh, it's a deep... <laughs> a sinister elf. Um, excuse me. It is a deep violet with extra sparkly red to green shimmer. I want to be a sinister elf. I'm too tall to be an elf. Um, this is pretty. I don't think I'd be able to paint my nails with this without thinking about elves, though. I'll think about it. I, I bought three from the last sale, and they're going to do like one more like overpour or something, but I don't count that as the last sale. I mean, like... This was the final. This was the big one. And that's probably going to be like not as much. So, but yeah, I bought a few. Ooh, Black Dahlia Lacquer Athena. It is inspired by the Greek goddess Athena. Uh, metallic gold magnetic crelly. Magnetic crelly. I don't know why that stubbed me up. Uh, that subtly shifts to green with red gold green aurora shimmers. Gold metallic flakies hollow micro flakes and a hint of gold micro glitter our seven polish companion goddess collection is also launching on our website on december 2nd okay so that's this is another one that is going to be looks like kind of having companion pieces actually i like i like these two and this one on the upper left hand corner more than i like this particular polish so i'll have to check their sale out for those other polishes Bluebird Lacquer, You Read My Mind. No, thank you. Um, it is... It, what? They were inspired by red nail polish. Bro, what? Me too, I guess. Uh, it's a true red jelly with a subtle shimmering gold shifting sparkle. 300 are available. The red with gold running through it is absolutely beautiful. It's really stunning. And it very much reminds me of like Lunar New Year and like the perfect color for that. I have my like Lunar New Year reserve polish though. Like I wear that one and like that's going to be it. So I definitely don't need this. By Danny Vienna. One of my favorite things inspired by Raindrops on Rose from the song My Favorite Things from the Sound of Music movie. I have not seen that one thing about me is i've never seen a movie in my life just in case you didn't know except for shrek i've seen that one um a dark magenta jelly base with blue to purple aurora shimmer and teal reflective glitters this is such a beautiful color but you know it's like both blue and purple the two colors i'm trying not to buy too much of if you don't have anything by Danny Vienna, though, highly, highly, highly recommend. Love the polishes from this company. They are beautiful. They are interesting. They really lock in their inspiration well. So I definitely recommend them.
by Vanessa Molina, Dancing in the Nightmare. This is inspired by the movie in The Nightmare Before Christmas. It is a multi-chrome magnetic with iridescent flakies and 500R available. I have such a fistful of uh, magnetics that are like this purple and green. I think I even have one by Vanessa Molina that is very similar. So I'm going to pass, but it does look pretty. Cadillacer, cozy. Uh, okay, I like this. What is it? It is inspired by a cozy cabin in the woods in winter. This is really interesting. It looks like it's very shifty. It is a dark green base with pinkish red, copper, orange, yellow shimmer, and small silver hollow flakes. Cozy ties into our new winter collection, which can be pre-ordered at Hypnotic Polish. They got the website there. Here is the full collection. Oh my gosh, this collection is so pretty. It's really blue heavy. <laughs> And I shouldn't want it, but I want literally all these with the blue. I don't care about the two up here. I want all the blue ones. This one is quite pretty, though. I'm going to put that on my wish list and think about it. Cameo Color Lacquers, uh, Icy Gray Skies. Inspired by a rendering of the elements of a perfect winter day. A perfect winter day is no winter at all, in my opinion. Um, it is a blue-gray curly base with a touch of hollow sparkle and gold shimmer full of gold metallic flakies or flakes and silver hollow micro flakes rendering of a perfect winter day. The icy blue gray sky, a hot beverage in my favorite mug and a book. Okay, that's pretty ideal. I like that. Just, I hate snow. Part of the perfect winter day trio, my favorite mug and leather bound book are available in their shop. And there are 105 available. I'm going to be honest, I did not like the idea of no theme going into this where it was like maker's choice. I wasn't super into that, but I am loving that they have like built their own like trios and stuff surrounding the polish pickup. I can see like maybe some people might be like, oh, it's kind of annoying because now I got to order in two spots. I'm going to do that anyways. Uh, let's be real with ourselves. <laughs> so I kind of like that. I think it's kind of a fun little addition. Cattail, the blue hour. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I've been trying to capture that magical time of day between light and dark where it's neither... Oh, where it's neither. Okay, neither light nor dark. A liminal space of eerie beauty. The blue hour, if you will. A deep blue thermal. I don't know why I didn't realize this was a thermal upon looking on. I was like, how did they do that with their nails? I forgot thermals existed for some reason. A deep blue thermal to a light milky blue violet shift with flash reflective glitter. 300 are available. It's a thermal, so I will pass. Um, but that is really, it does look, very much like the inspiration. Good job. Also, once again, thank you for including the inspiration. Okay, I saw this. I saw this on the Facebook page. I saw this and I'm already gonna put it on my wish list. This is Cleona Cosmetics uh, Vaporwave. I did buy all the magnetics they just released. Lord have mercy on my soul. Um, I'm gonna do a review on those. They look amazing, by the way. They look so interesting, especially for a brand's first magnetic launch. That's a little bit of a shade, but you know, when you're going to do something, you should do it fun. Don't do it lame. Um, Vaporwave is part of Cleona Cosmetics' larger Slickadelic collection, themed around a fusion between psychedelic aesthetic and the effect of oil on water. A magenta orange gold lime shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with green violet red shifting shimmer and fine scattered holographic glitter. Okay, I guess I didn't realize this was part of like kind of the larger collection. So I definitely now I really have to get it. I have no choice. It's, they've held me hostage. Color Spectrum Polish Love Stone. Okay, this is cute. I'm not gonna buy it, but it is cute. Actually, now I kind of want it. It looks like a ladybug. Oh, I miss ladybugs. Inspired by my own love story. Oh, that's cute. How precious. A cherry red with black micro flakes and hollow. There are 115 available. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like it. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I'll think about it. It's going to come off first. I know it is, but I like I like this enough to put it on my wish list. Caloris de Carol, Spirit of the Forest. Ooh, that's pretty. Hey. Um, inspired by Spirit of the Forest. Okay. A soft gray curly base packed with black flakes, mermaid flakes in various shades, and multi-chrome shimmer. 350 are available. The shimmer is killing it. I just got the Caloris de Carol Advent in the mail, and I... Cracked it open because I 
didn't wait for any of the evidence. And I'm going to be posting them all throughout December. But the Chloris to Carol one, man, it was good. So I like that. Crystal Knockout Fairy Impersonator. Inspired by a hummingbird. Oh, that's cute. A lilac to periwinkle jelly. Thermal. Aww. With tons of silver reflective glitter and color shifting flakes and orange, violet, and fuchsia. Doesn't look like there's a cap. I Every time I see hummingbirds, it reminds me of my grandparents because they have uh, hummingbird feeders out all the time. And my grandma would get mad because the squirrels would climb on them. That's really pretty. If it wasn't a thermal, that would go on my list. Well, oh, but it's purple, so I shouldn't. Oh, oh, come on. Cuticula pixie glass? It's like dragon glass, but pixie. Hmm. Pixie glass is a periwinkle base with purple, red, blue, green, and blue, purple, green glass flakes. Doesn't say that there's a cap. Um, okay, is periwinkle blue? Or is it purple? Or is it its own color? I'm going to say it's its own color and put it on my wish list. I'm in a good mood right now. I don't know why, because I've had the worst weekend. <laughs> Dainty Digits Lacquer Bite My Glorious Golden Polish. This is definitely, yeah, Bender from Futurama. It is a bright gold linear hollow with a gold to green shifting shimmer and gold reflective glitter. And it is a fun sibling to Bite My Shiny Metal Polish from October 2022 Polish Pickup. Uh, 100 are available. That's cool that they did like a little like nod to that one, but I did not get that one. I don't wear a lot of gold, so I'll pass. Dom nail polish, do something. This collection is inspired by a quote, life is short, do something. As I reflect on the major life changes and risks I took this year, this quote really hits hard and helps remind me that this is the right decision and ultimately what makes me happy. I think that the maker quit her day job to full-time do polish this year. I think if I'm remembering correctly, that's pretty cool that she's been successful to keep going. You know, that looks fun. Um, it is a shimmer reflective with pink gold green shifts and silver reflective glitter that come alive under bright lights sprinkled within our little holographic glitters for max sparkle. It has five siblings to complete the full rainbow and the website is right here. There's a 300 cap on this one and then here are the five siblings that will be on the website. I am going to pass because I'm not into this light of a color even though I really do like the shimmer running through it. But I did just open my advent calendar from this brand and it is my first experience with the brand. I went out on a limb, bought the advent calendar and I love almost all the polishes. The only reason I don't like a couple of them is just because they're in colors that I don't like, but that's the risk you take. I got 10 out of it that I 100% love. So that's awesome. Danglefoot Nail Polish, The Constant, inspired by Desmond from the TV show Lost. Um, I My brother liked that show, but I did not watch it. Uh, it is a deep blue jelly base with glowing iridescent flakes that shift pink, green, gold, blue, and a sprinkling of blue shimmer. There are a hundred available. It includes a lot of blue, so I have to pass. But it's a really good polish for this season, the darker weather, I think. Dark and Twisted Lacquer Snow Dream. Ooh, that is really pretty. It's Oh, oh, look at that. Hello. It is inspired by a beautiful picture of snow and a waterfall. Okay. A uh, hundred are available. It's a blue polish with a glowy green shimmer. Very glowy. I especially like it right here. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on my list, but I am going to add it. Do nail polish. New yay, new champagne. I got to be honest, you guys. Does anybody actually like champagne? I think it tastes like garbage. I would rather drink the fake champagne that's like just sparkling grape juice. Like I could drink that forever. If they made alcohol taste like that, my life would be done because I love that stuff. Um. Anyways, as we we're getting ready for the new year, we are popping bottles of champagne with fireworks. Hillary's getting sparkling apple juice. Um. The color resembles the night of fireworks shimmery multi-chrome polish with magnetic flakes 300 are available it's just too dark for me i like a dark blue but i like it more jewel tone this one's more like a midnight blue you get what i'm saying Ooh, but no hillary no no blues but ooh, dreamland lacquer lady in the water inspired by bryce dallas howard's 2016 golden globes dress 
love how specific that is. I really love that. <laughs> a sea of blue and black flakes of various types with a sprinkle of hollow glitter and a deep blue base. It is quite pretty. It says 500 are available. That macro shot is like, it looks like broken glass. It's so pretty. I cannot add another blue. No. Ember nail lacquer into the never. Wow, this one looks like it's quite shifty or is it is it uh, color changing? Inspired by purple and blue nebula, purple base with a blue shimmer, uh, red holographic glitter, color shifting flakes of glitter, and a scattered holographic galaxy glitter. There's 150 available. I, I just think it looks so different in some of these pictures. Like, I don't know what color it really is. So I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's blue or purple, so I'd have to pass anyway. Emily Damali Freehand, a dark blue base with green and pink iridescent flakes and a blue magnetic effect. You can see it here. You can see it really well in this picture. Here's some more of that magnetic. It is a subtle magnetic, it says, blue on blue. But I do think that it it's, even though it says it's subtle, you can still pretty see it pretty well. Uh, 140 are available, however, Due to it being blue, I have to say no. Ethereal Neptune Planet Power. This is cool looking. Inspired by Sailor Neptune from Sailor Moon. It is a sheer aqua base full of red, orange, copper uh, to green shifting shimmer. Swatches show three coats, okay? 700 cap. That is quite pretty. Aqua? Aqua's kind of green, right? Let's... Hmm... I don't know. I always put ethereals on my list. I'm going to add this one to my list, but I always end up taking them off. I don't know why. I'm interested in the brand. I just haven't bought from them. Fair Maiden, bubbles, bubbles everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Inspired by the Willy Wonka scene where Grandpa Joe and Charlie drink fizzy lifting drinks and it gets stuck in the bubble machine. They very quickly learn they have to burp to return to safety. Let's see. It's a bright light blue polish with violet aqua green blue shifting shimmer and iridescent flakes. It doesn't look like there is a cap, but they do have a bunch more in their collection here. So that's pretty cool. I am not buying blues right now, but I like this one up in the corner here. I loved Willy Wonka as a kid, but only really the part where you got to eat all the candy, which I mean, duh, that's the best part. Femme Fatale Cosmetics, Dark Falls, inspired by Goosebumps. It is a boysenberry jelly base with scattered holographic glitter, luminous blue iridescent flakies, and silver magnetic pigment. Recommend two to three coats with a glitter suitable top coat as this will dry slightly textured. There are 150 available. This is not my tone of boysenberry. Is boysenberry purple or pink? I don't know, but whatever this is, it's not my favorite tone of purple. So I will pass, but I like that they call it boysenberry. Garden Path Lacquers, The Sound of Her Wings. This kind of reminds me of the wildflower, or not the wildflower, the ethereal that we just looked at, but much sheerer, it seems. It is inspired by Dave McKean's cover for Sandman Volume 2, number 8, The Sound of Her Wings, an ever so slightly tinted gray base filled with green, blue, indigo, shifting shimmer. Doesn't look like there's a cap. This isn't really for me. It's just a little too light. I would have liked it a little bit more opaque for a shimmer like this, but it is really pretty, very ethereal. Glisten and Glow, Living Free in 23. It is inspired by the calm vibes and free feeling of a new year and new beginning. I am not feeling calm about next year. I don't know about you guys. I'm feeling more anxious than ever, if you will. Uh, it is a warm taupe base. Oh, I do love a taupe. A warm taupe base polish loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift from purple, red, and yellow. Glisten and Glow, Glisten and Glow is also releasing the Living Free in 2023 collection that this polish is a part of. You can get the other three polishes in this collection on 12-12 at 6 p.m. Eastern time at their website. And it just gives you a description of the other ones, but you can see the photos right here. I really like this one in the bottom right corner, that teal. I can already feel my nails being stained. This is quite pretty though. I like the um, kind of more wearable quote unquote color with just the very crazy shimmer running through it. That is one of my favorite things. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it. I have Glisten and Glow top coat. I love their glitter grabber. 
very high quality stuff. I have a couple of their polishes that I got in a D stash and they are wonderful as well. So if you guys like something that's, you know, wearable, but a little bit fun still, definitely check this out. Okay, this one I wanted to talk to you guys about because Great Lakes Lacquer, did you like the song? This, if you missed out on Wildflower Lacquer's um, Stolen Flame, which is a polish that I have mentioned again and again since I got it as one of my favorite polishes, not only of the year, but pretty much of all time. If you missed out on that because that was a polish pickup, this looks like dead on. It looks so similar. I think that it has some shimmer running through it. Yeah, it says... Uh, it's a violet base filled with blue to purple to red and pink shifting iridescent flake, blue to indigo shimmer, and a strong scattered holographic. So I can see like this pinky purple tone is not the same, but like when I look at these pictures, I feel like if you hadn't shown me, if you covered up the Great Lakes lacquer bottle, I don't know if I would have been able to discern it from the other one from Stolen Flame. So if you wanted Stolen Flame and you couldn't get it, I would say grab this because I think it looks so similar and this brand is wonderful. And also it's from Michigan, which is cool because I'm from Michigan. Hearts and Promises Stroke of Midnight. This one looks very glittery. It is inspired by New Year's Eve, dark, deep navy blue, linear hollow, super sparkly polish loaded with navy hollow glitters, silver micro glitters, and hollow flakies. 300 are available. I am going to pass because it is blue and I'm trying not to buy blues right now. We'll see what my wish list looks like at the end, how many blues made it on there, but very pretty. Heather's Hughes Bucks Cup. I love these cups that have like these like pointy thing on them, like the studs. They kind of hurt to hold. I don't know if I'm just holding my cup too aggressively, but I got one from Swamp Gloss and I wanted it really bad because everybody always has those crazy fun Starbucks cups. And I'm like, I don't want to go to Starbucks and buy the cup. So I got the Swamp Gloss one and I feel like you could really hurt somebody with that cup. I don't know why I, every item I pick up, I'm like, how could I use this as a weapon? Um, but I could. So <laughs> it is inspired by their favorite Starbucks tumbler, a sheer purple base packed with a mix of hollow glitter flakes and micro shreds, as well as a mix of iridescent flakes and glitters. 150 are available. There are no like actual on the nail swatch photos, which is kind of disappointing. I hope that they add more as they go, but it is quite uh, like, I feel like it matches the inspiration pretty well. This is hit the bottle polish. They call me Carmelo Koala. It is based on, a, I guess a chocolate from Australia, caramel or burnt orange stamping polish. The polish does have some golden shimmer, but is mainly a cream. 125 available. I wonder why you would put the golden shimmer in there, like for it. And I wonder if it makes like application better. Like sometimes I see shimmers in cream polishes and they just don't translate to the nail. And it seems like this person knows that it's not going to, or it really doesn't. So I wonder if it just helps with putting it on. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, I, I don't buy stamping polishes from Polish Pickup. I don't know why. Like I just don't. So <laughs> I'm going to pass, but the color is nice. It's very pumpkin-y. Indie by Petty Lopez, Romance in Paris. Inspired by the Eiffel Tower at night, it is a purple base with Aurora shimmer and blue reflective glitter. It is a cap of 300. Very pretty. I like this. I feel like I do have something similar and not only that, but it's like both blue and purple, so I have to pass. Jen and Barry's Truly Outrageous, inspired by Jen and the Holograms. A intense linear holographic with purple to gold or purple and gold multi-chrome shimmer, and a mix of holographic flakes. 300 are available. I like this brand. I have a few from them and they are really quite nice. This isn't really my color vibe. This like flip like this, I just, the anything that's like purple to red, I'm not super into, but it is probably like from the pictures alone, you can tell that is loaded with hollow. Gior Couture, is it Dos Macos? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm not sure but it is a traditional Haitian fudge. It is a creamy, delicious milk and vanilla based fudge that typically has three signature stripes, a lightly colored vanilla layer, a chocolate layer, and a red layer. What's in the red layer? That sounds cool. Um, it is the sister polish to their November polish pickup, polish peppermint bark. It is chocolate brown when it's cold, raspberry pink, red when it's warm, and strawberry pink to gold shimmer and gold reflective glitter. That's really cool, but I don't do thermals, so I will have to pass. 
Kathleen and Co. Snow Globe. This is fun. It's inspired by snow globes. Who would have guessed? Um, it is a icy blue leaning indigo with glowy gold green aqua shimmer and hollow flakes. I gotta say, this is like my favorite hand pose out of any pose. I just think it looks really interesting. And I tried really hard to take pictures like that. And I don't know why. I just can't do it. It looks like my thumb doesn't angle correctly in the picture. And it looks super weird. And I'm sad because I want to do this hand pose. Um, this is quite pretty, but it's just too icy for me. And even though I want to buy it, I will not wear it. I know myself. Ooh. Um, did I say that I wasn't buying purples? I don't know. Uh, KB Shimmer, awfully fond of you. This is quite up my alley. It is inspired by sunsets in the tropics. And uh, what is the description? I love KB Shimmer because they always write a lot about their polish and they really make it like known that they care. But at the same time, I'm like, I can't read all that. That's <laughs> so much to read. Um, my attention span is gone. It is a rich purple in color. It shows off a range of hues from bold fuchsia to blue leaning royal to near indigo. Let me try that again. A rich purple in color. This shade quickly shows off a range of hues from a bold fuchsia to a blue leaning royal to near indigo. I think I got it that time. A scattering of micro hollow flakes adds twinkle to your manicure. And it is best in two coats, no cap. I have to say no, right? It's so pretty though, right? Uh, okay, no, no, Hillary, no. Okay, also no, but I want to look at this. Uh, Crucible Designs Dancing Sugar Plums. It is pale purple mauve base with shifting crystal flakes and gold shifty shimmer. 200 are available. I usually am not super into lilac-y shades, but sometimes when they have like these flakes in them, I get really tempted. Especially when they like just show the shot of the polish not on the fingers. I'm like, oh, that's stunning but I have the pass. Lacquer is in the air. New beginnings. This is inspired by fresh starts and new beginnings that come with a new year. What depicts that more than a new plant growth? That's cute. A leaf green linear holographic. This is not my tone of green, so I'm going to pass, but it is quite pretty and I love the inspiration. Okay, see, it looks way darker here. I like it here, but not this one. That's a, it's so hard with pictures and I get it. It's hard to like photograph colors true to color, but man, I don't, it makes it hard for me to decide. I'm gonna pass. Leisha's Lacquer Chihuahua Party, inspired by the best dog breed in the world, Chihuahuas. It is a blueberry curly polish with blue microflakes and red green shimmer. Um, it's blue, so I'm gonna pass, but it is pretty. I also I do love Chihuahuas. They're funny. They seem like they're scared all the time though, and I get nervous around them. Ooh, that's pretty. Lemming Lacquer. Is it Krampusnacht? It's probably German, right? Um. It's celebrated on December 5th. It's a night where people dress up as Krampus and chase naughty children through the streets. That sounds traumatizing. <laughs> um, he is a folklore figure that punishes children who have been bad by whipping them. <laughs> he then takes them to his lair. Yeah, dude, that's cool. That's not shady. Um, I don't, I don't love that. <laughs> Krampus knock is a steely midnight blue to red multichrome and a turquoise jelly base with holographic micro flakes. 200 are available. You know, when I was a kid, they just brought me coal when I was bad. They didn't take me to their lair, okay? Uh, this is a quite pretty though. I really do like this. I'm thinking about it. So spooky. Lily pad lacquer to die for, inspired by tie-dye. Oh, that's cool. It is a <sighs> blurple jelly. Full of chameleon flakes, teal, green, blue, pink, orange, and gold. 80 are available. It's too purple of a base for me to justify right now because I'm passing on all of them. But this is really pretty. I like the color of the flakes compared to the base. Lumen, crown of ice, inspired by a shimmering snowy forest bathed in the pinks and golds of the sun. The namesake of our latest winter collection available now. A muted glowy blue saturated with aurora shimmer in a pink gold green shift. Yeah, it's just too light for me. You guys know I just don't wear these kind of like washed out looking shades. But this is another brand that I have my eye on. Luna Lab Creations. I'm great at controlling my anger inspired by the She-Hulk Marvel series. 
It is a light lavender shimmer base with a green to purple shifting aurora. Pink to purple flakies and purple reflective glitters. 125 are available. Since it's purple, I would say no, but this icy purple is not my jam, so I would have passed anyways. Um, but you know me, I do love flakes. Linby Designs Chunky Knit. Man, there's a lot of these more washed out colors this time. Inspired by the most cozy of chunky knit sweaters. Hollow base with intense pink to orange to yellow shifting shimmer. And no cap, I don't think, but just not my color. MJ Lacquer. Wait, what's a Crelly? This is fun. Okay, let's see. Inspired by indie polishes, the rabbit hole that I found myself in when I discovered this world of indie polishes, I still chuckle when I see that puzzled look from others who have never heard of indie polishes. Yellow Crelly with a mixture of ultra chrome chameleon flakies and color shifting flakes. Black flakes with red to orange aurora shimmer. I wish it was just a more vibrant yellow. It looks like honey mustard. I like it a little bit more yellow. I don't know. Let me think about it. You don't see many yellows on polish pickup, I feel. Mumu Signatures, the end is just the beginning, inspired by a fantasy dragon zodiac wallpaper, off-white base with blue-gray undertone, neon, tiny blue flakies, blue, sorry, green to blue UCC flakies, irregular crystal gold flakes, white and black, tiny hexes, turquoise to green chameleon glitters, and gold hollow shards and hollow shimmer. 200 are available. It's too blue for my list this month, but I do like the green in this especially. Ooh, Moonshine Manny, Crystal Song Forest, inspired by the relaunch of the Wrath of the Lich King classic expansion from World of Warcraft. Crystal Song Forest is a soft but vibrant orchid purple with a strong pink gold green shimmer, hollow flakies, and sapphire aqua. 200 are available. I used to play World of Warcraft with my dad. I got him into it, and then he like outpaced me in five seconds, and then just drag me through dungeons and people would be like, where'd you get that cool armor? I'd be like, my dad made it for me. I miss playing well with my dad. That was fun. MTK Designs Berry Autumn. This is really cool. Ooh, I might break my purple roll for this one. <laughs> Inspired by the beauty and drama of fall, autumn leaves in a bottle. It definitely looks like that. Uh, gold copper red shifting multi-chrome flakes in a bright berry purple jelly. I don't even usually like this kind of purple, but man, this contrast... Uh, iridescent shimmer and shifting blue, red, orange shimmer. Let's make this the one purple exception. Okay, guys. Nail Artisan Cosmetics. Who's laughing now? Inspired by the Joker. Um, let's see. It's inspired by his iconic suit. Multi-chrome flakes and a dash of hollow reside in this, uh, purple to gold shifting polish. Perfect for any aspiring supervillain. There are 150 available. Just not my color shift. I'm going to pass. Nailed it. Nail polish. Moonstruck. This is a magnetic. Um, blue leaning blurple base with a strong pink shimmer and a holographic magnetic pigment. Uh, we're passing on purples today, but that is an interesting. I don't think I've seen many magnetics in this kind of tone. Nails by Virgo Moon. J.B. Fletcher. Inspired by Angela Lansbury's iconic role. Uh, it is a warm jammy red jelly. And it has taupe and snow white. I think we can kind of see them maybe here. Uh, micro flakies, iridescent micro glitters, and iridescent square glitters. There are 100 available. I don't buy red that often, so we'll pass. Oh, that's fun. Night Owl Lacquer, following always. Oh, hey. Um, clear base filled with purple reflective glitter pigment. Red, orange, gold, green, crystal, chameleon flakes, and black flakes. There is no cap. Man, if it wasn't purple, that would go on my list. That is really cool. I like that. That's fun. That would have been great in the uh, September polish pickup for Halloween. Noodles Nail Polish Hanukkah Nights. Oh, I thought this was like toothpaste. <laughs> I like that color. Uh, inspired by Hanukkah Decor. Very pale blue crelly with white, silver, and various shades of blue glitters with white stars and blue moons. That's cute. The glitters are a mix of matte, metallic, and hollow, and it dries very textured, so definitely get yourself a uh, glitter topper. I'm going to talk about one at the end here. Uh, it looks like there is no cap. Polish Mastermind, inspired by Taylor Swift's Midnight's soft periwinkle with holographic flakes and coppery pink pigments. 
it's just so like when they have all that uh hollow in there i don't know if it's just under the camera but they tend to look so icy and i'm gonna pass paint it pretty polish winter getaway this is another one where it's like a more wearable base color with just a really intense shimmer running through it and i love those it is a gray base with a pink aurora gold pink gold aurora shimmer and a hollow finish 150 are available i just i have quite a few like this and i don't wear them that often as much as i love them because i like wearing loud in your face stuff right now so i'm gonna pass Ooh, painted polish looking mighty pine that's a cute name it is a really dark green uh deep emerald jelly featuring a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters pink galaxy holographic glitters and micro holographic flakies it's so dark that it's almost black and i just tend to not like colors like that because i'm like it might as well just be black at that point and i i don't know i just i don't wear plain black nails too much anymore so i'm gonna pass pampered polishes the magic has begun i do like this color combo it is a soft pastel pink cream base with blue metallic and micro flakies it doesn't look like there's a cap i don't know pamper polish does really good like delicate type stuff i like it i'm adding that paradox polish sparkling into the new year like uh it's a jelly hollow with hollow glitters gold and black flake and rainbow flake this is really pretty but those like mostly silver stuff i just don't find myself reaching for it too much so i will pass Ooh, a rose for you by penelope luz uh, somebody tell me how if i'm saying that so wrong i feel like i'm saying her name wrong uh inspired by duochrome roses neon pink base with a sparkle multi-chrome shimmer rose orange gold and hollow gold glitter 700 are available I like this a lot. Hmm. I do have a lot of pink, but I didn't put that rule at the beginning. So I'm going to add that to my list. Ooh, Phoenix boy toy. Inspired by the perfect boyfriend, Ken. It is a soft indigo. We're just, no, indigo jelly. A base packed with pink coral, golden micro flakies, and a lovely mix of pink, blue, and white matte glitters. 500 are available. It's the glitters, man. They're getting me. 500 are available. Did I say that? I think I did. Pinnacle polish go up. Um, Inspired by rock climbing gym walls. Okay, that's funny. Uh, it is a light gray curly base with multi multicolored matte glitter in various sizes and holographic micro flakes best applied in two to three coats. 125 are available. That is a great take on that. I love that. I'm kind of living for it. I want this, but I know it's because I think the inspiration matches it super well. And I have toppers where I could emulate this, but that is cool. That is, I'm tempted, but I, I can't. Poetry Cowgirl, Dusk in the Pines. It is a delicate pale blue base packed with gold, orange, green, shifting shimmer and iridescent UUC flakes. Okay. And emerald green hollow glitters. There is no cap. There's only the one picture right now and it's blue, so I'm going to pass. Pretty beautiful unlimited Penelope. It's like a coral type color. It is inspired by Penelope from Bridgerton. It is a salmon Kel Krelly base with red, rose gold, and purple metallics, micro flakies, aurora pigment, and crystal chameleon flakies. Um, no cap. I don't look good in salmon at all. Not even once. I think it's because I've got so much pink and red in my skin that it just makes me look kind of funny, but it is very pretty. Psych Minerals, Memories of an Angel, inspired by the Pregnancy Loss Awareness Ribbon. It is a light bubblegum pink based polish with a strong blue Aurora shimmer. I do have a lot of bubblegum pinks with blue shimmer, um, but if you do not, there are a hundred of these. Red Eyed Lacquer, I Am Found, inspired by Elsa from Frozen 2. Um, I did not like Frozen 2. Frozen 1 was good. Frozen 2 is lame, in my opinion. Uh, an Ultramarine blue crelly with purple pink gold shifting shimmer and hollow flakes 200 are available it's too blue for my wish list red panda lacquer holy spit inspired by elena potato from the italian franchise monster allergy all that whole sentence really intrigues me i want to know what that's about her signature catchphrase is holy spit which originally translated to holy sneeze in the american version 
apple green with red gold shimmer 105 are available i don't love this type of green i like it a little bit darker so i'm gonna pass restored by polish darling dahlia inspired by the dahlia flower it is a moody red shifting from a deep cranberry to a brick red depending on the light it has black to red flakes and it is two to three coats needed. 100 are available. I put one red on my wish list this month and that's pushing it. So I'm going to have to pass. But if you really like these deeper reds, this is for you. Oops. Rogue Lacquer 1985. My inspiration behind this was me creating what I felt. So I thought it would be named after the year I was born. This is magenta pink with subtle hollow shimmer mixed in with the orange pink color shifting shimmer. Hollow flake and subtle purple hue. It's too purpley for me and my list this month, but now I just have that Bowling for Soup song stuck in my head. Saki Cosmetics Beige Aesthetic, inspired by all the beige mood boards on Pinterest. Light beige with gold tone flakies and micro flakies, 150 are available. You guys know it's just not my color to wear. I'm not into wearing whites or colors even this close to white, but it is a very classy color here. Sassy Cat's Lacquer, is it Chessie? Inspired by the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. It is a teal with fine hollow, plus Aurora shifting red copper green. Uh, 150 are available. I don't know. I, ooh, I like it in that picture, in that picture. Uh, it looks very shifty. I'm gonna think about it. Sassy Sauce Polish Blue Diamond. I think I know whose hand that is. Uh, it is inspired by a photo of a New Year's dress. Seafoam green jelly with sparkling micro glitter and a purple pink blue shifting shimmer named by Mary Sandberg. 300 are available. This one's really pretty. I like sassy sauce a lot. Um, okay, I want to put this on my list, list but it's it says seafoam green, but we can all agree that's like blue, right? Like we all know that's blue in our hearts. Mm -hmm. I have to pass. Hillary, no. Serum number five, somebody's luck. Ooh, it's quite red. It is inspired by the year of the rabbit. That's next year. Um, let's see. Somebody's Luck is 2023's Lunar New Year polish and it goes with the Lucky Colors Eastern Zodiac collection. It looks like they have a whole Zodiac collection on their website, so that's pretty cool. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. I just can't do a red, especially not one this glittery. <laughs> Starlight and Sparkles. Verdant, I never know how to say this word. Verdant scales, verdant scales. I haven't been in the best place the last few months, so for this month I decided to create a polish that makes me happy. I felt like making a green, and winter makes me think of dragons. Okay, that's a cool association. A green jelly with gold to bronze to green shifting old school UP sibling pigment. So it's not UP, it's like similar. Is that what they're saying? I don't know. Uh, a touch of holographic shimmer and scattered glitter in both green to gold iridescent and a green holographic. It is 250 cap. I'm not a big like UP person. I just never, I think I got in the boat too late and I just never was super interested in it. So I'm going to pass. Sweet and Sour Lacquer, New Year, New Sparkle, inspired by image of a glitter gradient. It is a pink, copper, green, gold, multi-chrome magnetic polish with hollow flakies. Very subtle looking magnetic, at least from that angle. Here, let's see. Yeah, it's like a little bit too subtle of a magnetic, so I'm not super interested in that. It does look kind of sheer, and it's just not really my color, that kind of ruddy, pinky red, you know? Ooh, that's fun. Twisting Nether Lacquer, The Wicked Deep, inspired by the book cover of The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. And I love star, I'm a sucker for like star and moon glitter for sure. It is a blue jelly with silver holographic, matte white and iridescent glitters, silver flake and moon and star glitters. 200 are available. This is really cool. I really like it, but I knew, uh, no blues, no blues, Hillary. What addiction leaf peeping. <laughs> I have taken inspiration from the amazing leaf change here in Oregon. A burnt copper orange base filled with the copper shimmer UCC flakes. Micro hollow glitter and a touch of micro reflective glitter. Let's see. It has got 150 available. This is quite pretty. Ah, this is very, very fall. It looks like, yep, they've got some sisters here um, available on whataddiction.com. That's kind of a good trio. I like that. I'm going to think about that. 
we got a couple more regular polishes. So we have Watcha O oh Baby. This is inspired by their first baby, Alan. Um, 350 are available. I just, this is not my type of green. I think this is a nice green when you have like, like in decor, if you have like a lot of browns in your decor, but I just don't tend to wear this, I call it kind of minty, I guess, or like lighter sage. Yeah, I guess sage would be right. But it's a curly sage green with holographic micro flakes, 350 available. So if you are interested, check this out. We have a wildflower lacquer, Hiraith, I think, inspired by the word Hiraith, which means homesickness for a home to which you cannot return. Oh, that makes me feel nauseous. Uh, I... I feel like that's what nostalgia feels like for me. And I hate it. I hate feeling that. Um, a light gray base with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer and scattered iridescent glitter. It's quite pretty. It's just too light for me. I'm sorry. I like it, but I wouldn't wear it. That's a, that's a problem. A lot of these are so pretty. And if I could, I'd buy them all. But I know I wouldn't wear half of them. And I just don't want to do that to myself or my wallet or my storage space, you know? Um... The last polish we have is Zombie Claw Fairy Tales Do Come True, inspired by Tiana from Princess and the Frog. That movie was so good, by the way. If you haven't seen that movie, that is definitely one of my favorite Disney movies from the last, like, recent Disney, since I've been alive, at least. Um, purple base with purple green flakies and neon green glitters. 200 are available. And because it's purple, I'm going to pass, but it is quite pretty. I feel like Zombie Claw does these kind of lavenders in a way that makes me want them. And I don't usually like lavenders, so that's really cool. So let's pass on that and let's just show you guys a couple things that if you're not aware, they do have um, a top and base coat section every month. And this month, the Glisten and Glow Glitter Grabber is on here. This is my all-time, like swear by live and die by i love their top coat but i love their glitter grabber if you have a chunky glitter or like stickers on your nails something textured on your nails and you don't want the texture to feel through put a coat of this down before you put on your top coat it will clear it all up they also do have the coloris de carol one now i did recently get this i've only used it once so i'm not gonna like tell you oh this is the best thing ever but it worked really well in my opinion, I just need to try it a few more on uh, like bigger glitter textures and see. But definitely, I, I would recommend a glitter grabber top coat of some kind. Like th They're very helpful. And then I just want to show you there are a couple stamping plates. This is one by Apipla called I Love You. And it's got just a lot of like cutesy love designs and uh, like wedding type stuff. So you're, if you're like into love or whatever, <laughs> but, like this one, this one's for you. Uh, we have a Lantern and Wren one called next and i think this is kind of the opposite of the one that we were just looking at i think it's kind of more like a valentine's i like the um cacti right here uh but i don't think i would ever like use a stamping plate like this because you know i have like a boyfriend or whatever almost 10 years um and let's pass on that and then the edk stamping plate oh my god this one's called sea life this one makes me want to scream look at these octopi look at these guys oh i want to scream i love these so much but i cannot justify buying it for let's see i like one two three four of the designs i can't do it but <laughs> aren't they cute aren't they precious um but yeah so yeah if you weren't aware like i only show you guys all the nail polish but they do have other categories as well i just don't go through them because i'm not as like interested in everything but i do show you the few things i am interested in um and i just want to show you that they do have stamping plates as well so let's take a look oh wish list. i was like why is it empty um let's see 6 12 18 why is this here go away i already bought you so yeah um i bought that too last time so we have 6 12 wow 17 is like the smallest wish list I've ever come away with. That's kind of insane. And it looks like a lot of them, even though I said no blues and purples, a lot of them look like they might be blue and purple. Uh, so yeah, the goal is, the goal is two. The goal is to get it down to two. And I know the Cleona Cosmetics will be one of them. And I don't know what the other one will be. That's going to be tough to narrow down. So let me know what you guys think of my list. Let me know what you guys have on your list. What are your absolute must-haves? So for me this month, the absolute must is the Cleona. And then after that, I got to figure out what the other one I want is. I feel like Cadillac or BKL or... Those are, yeah, these three are really screaming to me and maybe the Cuticula, but I want to narrow it down to two. Also, I, this red one is weighing heavy on my mind. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys are picking up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.